Hey friends, welcome to One Little Coder. In this video, we are going to look at a new dataset called Palmer Penguins. It's a Penguins dataset and it is a very good alternative for Iris dataset. So before we even move on to this thing, so let me tell you that there is a problem with Iris dataset in uh, data science community recently. That is primarily because of the person who created the dataset and uh, he's been connected to eugenics. So the community has been uh, looking for an alternative and it is the same time when we have got uh, the penguins data set so the penguins data set has been packaged um, as palmer penguin package by allison horst also thank you allison for making this package for us so this package is currently not made it to cran but uh, you could see that uh, there is there is a uh, an issue on github that uh, says that there is a progress towards making it to cran so currently if you want to install this pack uh, data set uh, you have to install this package and um, unlike iris uh, it is not directly available uh, as part of your base or but uh, leaving out these things so this is really a good data set and good data set to create a lot of uh, data science concepts and examples and explain statistics so first thing is you have to make sure that you have got a uh, remotes package installed and once you have remotes package installed so you can go ahead and install this package so given that i've already got this uh, package installed um so let's let's start looking into the data set uh, how it looks okay uh, so the first thing is uh, let's load the data set palmer penguin so within this data set you can within this package you can see that it has two data set penguins and penguins raw so you can understand uh, what kind of columns it has uh, by looking into the help menu so uh, penguins has uh, seven columns and uh, penguins raw is actually in the raw format that's been collected so it has 17 columns so we are going to use only penguins data set for this particular analysis but uh, if you need uh, you can uh, look for a uh, penguins raw also so either you can assign penguins raw into penguins into something um, like df or uh, you can simply start using penguins so i'm going to load tidyverse also just um, for me to make some plots um, so the first thing is to have a look at the data set uh, penguins so you can see that it has got uh, 34 rows 7 columns and those 7 columns 3 are categorical uh, and uh, 4 are uh, numeric um, so that is good so it has got a species a uh, very similar to your iris so let's first uh, try to understand uh, how many species we have got um, which is to say count species okay so you have got uh, 152 adelaide and uh, chin strap is 68 and gen 2 is uh, 124 even before we proceed with this thing another thing that i wanted to highlight is penguins data set also has missing values which is actually a good thing uh, given that um, okay i forgot the shortcut given that um, uh, uh, it's it's very important uh, for us to explain uh, missing value in a lot of times when we make uh, uh, let's say uh, a tutorial or a doc um, teaching someone data uh, data science concepts so it has got missing values you can see that uh, the sex has got 11 missing values and uh, body mass uh, has got two missing values flipper has got two missing values bill has got two missing values and um, uh, species and island doesn't have any missing values so that's a good thing and um, we can also see how many islands you have got so that is to start with and uh, now let's say we want to make a simple plot that um, may be probably starting to use with baser because you could see that um, typically you know this is how I even test whenever I uh, try to do something so use baser plot and then try to make a plot this is iris data set but uh, you can do the same thing with penguin so you can make a basic scatter plot um, and then try to see where the correlations are you could actually see correlations present with a couple of uh, variables like a body mass and a flipper length so yeah so uh, you can understand how these uh, things are uh, there so maybe uh, let's say you want to make a slightly good looking sophisticated plot uh, with uh, categorical variables uh, or let's say let's start with even correlation plot for you to understand uh, uh, how uh, correlation matrix you want to build using this so i would uh, safely drop missing values in this case and then i'm going to say that um, okay uh, sell select everything that is is dot numeric um, because we want only is dot numeric and then i'm going to say base correlation so select doesn't support um is dot numeric okay uh, that's something let's uh, let's see what happens okay, the 
ID select interface doesn't support predicates. Okay, delete this and see what happens. Oh, no, that's not good. So let me just check the code that I have just built using this, uh, where I have got uh, missing values removed. So you can see that uh, I just figured out that um, I have missed the if condition and uh, now that we have selected only those let's uh, quickly go make correlation plot call uh, oh we have got na so we have to drop na and you can see that we have uh, we can see the correlation between different uh, variables. so you can actually see some uh, strong correlation between flipper length in millimeter and body mass in grams so that is good so your correlation uh, is done so now let's say that you want to make um, a, a plot a scatter plot and that would give you some idea about uh, how the data is on uh, ggplot um, let me even give AES here which is to say that I want flipper length and I want body mass let's make this real quick and um, that's done plus geo point um, I want to give um, um, I want to use fill is equal to species and uh, shape is equal to species okay uh, and let's take theme minimal and you can see oh fill has not worked very well uh, I could see the shape has worked but the fill has not worked very well um, maybe I'll remove species okay mm, let's let me let me just give fill is equal to species Oops. okay i have made some mistake just to say okay i've closed this okay i've not closed this okay still this is scale fill okay i've it is my bad that I have to use color instead of fill because this is a scatter plot. So you could see that we have for color. So make maybe we can uh, make uh, some good colors. Let's say scale color manual and say okay. The first one I want is um, dark orange, um, cyan, and then the third one is uh, let's say green. Uh, let's see if these colors are identified insufficient values in three needed but only zero provided okay 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 i'll uh, probably leave this at this point to just use the existing uh, color and if you want to use gg themes you can use gg themes and um, optimize it so you can have a look at uh, it, it follows very similar like how your uh, iris plot would look like um, you can actually see if you have an iris plot between sepal length and uh, petal length so it's again uh, like we just discussed it's a very good data set for you to explain data science concepts um, uh, to start with uh, but you can do a lot more even if you want to explain regression or uh, or uh, classification problem uh, you can have a look at it so i'll attach a blog post uh, along with this uh, video which uh, i just wrote uh, which ha which in which i am trying to give you some basic plots uh, for you to start with and some intuition behind why those basic plots are so the blog post reads like uh, how do you install it how do you access the data and uh, and some column definitions and finally you can make missing ground missing uh, value plot and uh, species plot uh, with respect to gender also we have got gender you can do the same thing with island and also a beautiful scatter plot not not something like i how i made but um, but uh, but something that actually looks good i hope uh, this video was helpful and um, this is re penguins is a really good data set that, that is a an iris alternative and uh, in case if you are interested please check it out and uh, once again thanks to alice and host for making this uh, data set not just making this data set but uh, it'd be an injustice if i don't mention this artwork um, while making this video it's a such a beautiful artwork you should definitely uh, you know if you are sharing this anywhere please uh, please cite 
artwork by Alison Hort. Um, so these are the three species, and you can see what is uh, the Kelman length. So th this this is a beautiful documentation. I hope uh, you will check it out. And if you have any comments on this video or feedback, please let me know in the comment section. And uh, until next video, see you. Take care.